friends, it's John Ross here yet again with another fun-filled activity for you. Today, we're going to be focusing on fourth grade science, specifically as we examine transparent, translucent, and opaque objects. Now, this activity is multiple steps, so I'm going to walk you through it. It's really quite wonderful, in my personal opinion, of course. First step, you will give your students a coloring book page of a random character. Here we have Scooby-Doo. So once they've acquired their coloring book uh, character page, you're going to go ahead and allow them to color it. Boom! Beautiful Scooby-Doo right here. That's step two, color. Step three, take some scissors, cut them out as nice and neat as possible. And again, that begs the question, can your students cut with scissors properly? Some of mine can't, bless them. <laughs> Nevertheless, once you've cut out Scooby, you're gonna move on and paste him, glue him on a transparency. So at this point, your students have utilized two different types of objects. One object is opaque. That would be Scooby, of course, because light cannot pass through him. Um, and you cannot see through him. And then the transparency is, of course, clearly transparent. Now, after we have pasted Scooby onto our transparency, we're going to bring out our third type of object, and that is tissue paper. I'm going to take my tissue paper, and I'm going to fold it nice and neat. One fold, and two folds right there. Then I'm going to take, bring Scooby back into play here, and I'm going to place my tissue paper upon the transparency. I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to trim that tissue paper so as to make sure that um, it fits properly on the transparency. Next step <clears throat> will be to use a glue stick. We're going to use a glue stick to apply a little bit of glue to one side or the other of your transparency because what we're generating here is a shower curtain. We're making a shower curtain um, so as to highlight translucent objects. As we know, shower curtains need to allow light to pass through them. However, they must prevent the light from passing through in such a way that we can see through them because of course we need our privacy. Um, that being said, I have just constructed a shower curtain for my boy Scooby Doo. Now, not quite done just yet. What we probably need to do is check out these layers of tissue paper. We have a couple layers of tissue paper, so I want to make that all connected. So I'm going to apply a little bit of glue uh -oh. here as well. Fold one piece over. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the second layer. Now, it's time to pull out another opaque object. That would be our construction paper, because we're going to build a nice frame for our picture here. I'm going to take that construction paper, and I'm going to fold it in half. Now, where the fold is, I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to cut in such a way that what I do to one side, I do to another. And what I'm attempting to do is cut out the center of the construction paper. And now, I have my frame. But I need to glue it on there, of course. So I'm going to flip it back over, put some glue on one side real quick. Press 
press it firmly, securely, and ta-da! We have our lovely artwork integrating science into the mix. Or rather, science integrating art into the mix. However, the one thing that we would like to do is make it so that our shower curtain can open and close. Scooby's got to get out, right? So, I'm going to take my scissors again, right here, where the shower curtain meets the frame. I'm going to cut. Voila! Scooby can enter and exit the shower as he pleases now. Again, this activity is intended to highlight translucent, transparent, and opaque objects.